Now that we have explored the tools available in Jamboard, let's take a look at some examples of how we can put all of these tools together to create engaging activities for our students. In this first example, the teacher has gone ahead and just added a single question that the students are going to answer. They then can come in, add a sticky note with whatever their response to the question may be. <clears throat> teacher can then, if decided, can go ahead and sort these in any way that they wanted to do. A second example for math, this is a screenshot from a PDF. Students can then either come in and use the pen tool to fill in the answer, or again, utilize the sticky note to add sticky notes to solve the equations. In the section below, where we can see the number rod, again, the students can use one of the pen tools to go ahead and color in so they can demonstrate their understanding of this particular problem. For this hundreds chart, this was an image that was brought in from the internet and then sticky notes placed over top. This is then going to give the students the ability to move around and see what number is going to be hidden under the knee, underneath. A reading example using sticky notes in this case, we're going to be working with reading a sight word. So we have our directions here in the yellow post-it note, and then the word written on another one. Underneath, the students are going to be able to drag the blue post-it notes into the correct order to spell the word. Then, using the pen tool, they can come in and actually write the tool, write the name itself. If you like this technique, it's important that you color code and make sure that you are consistent in the particular lesson. Perhaps even given directions, that the directions will always be on the yellow post-it note, the word to build on the green, and then the um, post-it notes in blue where you can actually physically move those around. Another example, here is a story map. Again, this is simply an image that was clipped from a PDF. We can then come in and use sticky notes to fill in where the story, the elements of the story. This could be done whole group, it could be done individually, or perhaps allow students to assign students a separate section that they are required to fill in. Our final example here is simply a check-in. Have students come in, they can use their post-it note and indicate where they fall in the spectrum for what they learned today or within that particular lesson. It's a quick way to gather an exit ticket on what might need to be retaught another day.